Hey everybody, I'm Tim the Suburban Dad, and today I'm excited to have you join me for a special interview with two of the owners of the Flight Whiskey Company. Super exciting. Uh, it's a new and up-and-coming company, and you get to learn a little bit more about uh, some of the behind-the-scenes workings of a whiskey company. So let's get to it. So, Mike, you and I met not too long ago, got to share some whiskey and some good times. And Dwayne, I'm excited to meet you today. Um, and so we're talking about flight whiskey. Now, why don't you guys briefly explain your roles with the company? Sure. Dwayne, you can go first, man. Okay. So I'm Dwayne. Um, Dwayne Price, that is. I am... Um, an air traffic controller uh, in my 95 job. And I've been friends with Mike and our other partner, Leo, for, I don't know, 20 plus years or so. So um, in our company, it being three of us, we all have individual roles. Um, my role is uh, to grow the brand, uh, to uh, get into new markets, and um, to, uh, you know, uh, introduce um, the diversity aspect of um of, uh, you know, minorities coming into the whiskey and the uh, bourbon industry. So um, that's exactly, that. that's all I really do. I focus on getting the brand into new states, new, um, meeting with new, the, the uh, new uh, distributors, uh, distributors, distribution in other states, et cetera. So that's what I do. Uh, Mike? Yeah. So first of all, I don't think Dwayne gave himself enough credit. Okay. Um, he he does a lot more than what he just said. Uh, we do all wear many, many hats. Um, my primary focus is the behind the scenes stuff. So the legal, the compliance, sourcing, uh, you know, getting juice in our hands to be able to pick. Um, and, you know, I guess the other part of what Dwayne does from the sourcing side is bottles and labels and right. poppers. So I completely that's forgot about that. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, I, I took care of all of those <laughs> default as well. So yeah, the brand, the brand is Flight. Um, the bottle that I have from you guys is the Single Barrel Wheat Whiskey. And is this currently the only product that you guys are offering right now? So it is not. Um, so I think you have Flight 1903, which is our first release. So that's a four-year high wheat whiskey, 95% wheat, 5% malted barley. Um, we are getting, getting ready to, uh, do an NFT launch. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's going to be flight 8080, uh, that will be coming out here relatively soon. Um, uh, teasers went out for it last week. And so that will be a six year, uh, whiskey, um, coming in at, what is that? 109 proof, uh, uh -huh. at, at barrel proof. Um, we're launching in, uh, New York. Um, so, that's going to be a release in and of itself as well. That will be a five year. So we'll have a four five and six year um, bottle that we're, that we're selling. Um, and that one is coming in at 90 proof that we're going to be selling in, in New York. Okay. And so we, we do have a couple different releases and we're actually trying to figure out what, uh, what's going to come next. And a part of the, the NFT package that we're offering is, if you buy the NFT, we're doing 10 raffles. It's, it's a hundred bottle release or hundred NFT release. Uh, we're going to raffle to uh, 10 individuals who purchase the ability to help us select what's our next juice going to be. So we're trying to get, you know, our, our team involved and our patrons involved as well. Yeah. Well, that's pretty exciting. Absolutely. Now who is the, or maybe it's all three of you guys or a couple of you, who's the main one that's the, um, the whiskey taster <laughs> <laughs> it's all three of us uh -huh. um, and the best part is we all have a very different palette yeah um but what you've got in front of you there flight 1903 is 115 proof mm -hmm. um i like mine hotter i like higher proof uh Dwayne, not so much Dwayne would be happy with an 80 proof right and, so and then <laughs> I'll stop you right there. And that's why I'm, I'm um, very excited about the New York release mm. because coming in at 90 and that's me. Okay. I love like my magic number. So I'm very excited about that because, you know, Mike likes the hot stuff. I like 
I won't call it weak, but I like a nice 90, 80, you know, around there, yeah. between 80 and 90. And then Leo is uh, our other partner. He's just about 100. So okay. it's perfect because we get that balance. And yeah. we get to, with the try everything, and we each have our own opinion. So that's why this really works, because we can find something that works for all three of us. Fantastic. Well, while we're chatting, I'm going to pour myself some. I had some last night, and uh, I'm really enjoying diving in here. Um, so tell me a little bit about how flight took off, so to speak. How did, sure. was, how did the company come to be? So Dwayne, Leo, myself, we've known each other for 20 plus years. I think Dwayne may have mentioned that a few minutes ago. Uh, we're really, you know, pretty much lifelong friends, uh, best friends. Um, and so flight came about really because at the end of the day, what do you do? You sit down, you have a drink together. And so we all love great whiskeys, great bourbons. Um, and we were all hanging out together and it was like, why don't we, why don't we do this for ourselves? We don't need to continue to spend money buying other people's juice when we know what we can, we know we can do it. So let's do it. And we did. And how the name flight came up is, um, just quite honestly, over 20 plus years, we've all had the good things that have happened in life. We've had bad things happen in life. Um, uh, we've had things where you pick up the phone and it's like, Hey, Dwayne, I need you. Dwayne just hops on a flight no matter where he's at and he comes, you know, so for being together for 20 plus years, we're brothers. And really the only thing that's ever separated us is a plane, right? So we're a flight away from each other. And so that's kind of how we came together, how we decided to do it and how we got the name. Yeah. Well, that's, you guys sound like good friends and that's awesome. And so you don't distill your own, juice so far uh, right. to source it right. from Indiana and uh, so is that pretty typical for a, a startup like you guys yeah so um so we source our whiskey from um, all over the country um, it's just happened it just so happens that this batch was from Indiana so what we actually do is you know we taste 30 40 50 different samples from distilleries all over the country. I mean, we've got samples like from Scotland. We've gotten samples from Canada. We have really sat down and tasted 50, 60 different um, samples before we decided on this one. So we source our whiskey for a new startup to open your own distillery. It, it's, a, it's a big price tag. Um, and the good thing about us is we're not just making one juice and putting it out in the market. We have the opportunity to taste several different juices that have been sitting in, 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 in warehouses or in storage for five, six, 10 years to see what it, what, it, what it tastes like. And then we get to decide, okay, I think the consumers would love this. Mm -hmm. And then we, 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 we choose exactly what, you know, what we're going to put in the market. Additionally, it's not just the three of us that, 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 you know, sit down and, and, and do these tastings. We always bring in like industry experts. We bring in liquor store owners, we bring in bar managers, um, speak easy employees, bartenders. And we always have this, this whole, it's like a party every time we do a tasting. So we'll get these industry experts, we'll come in and it could be in someone's basement. It could be at a lounge. It could be at a bar. Um, and we get this private room and we'll sit back and we're like, we have these 20 let me know what you think. And then we get down to about five or six and then we make a vote. You know, we take a vote and it ironically, everyone loved 1903. And that's why we decided to make that our um, first release in the market for flight whiskey. Gotcha. Well, very cool. And I don't think people, a lot of what I hoping my viewers will get from this video is, kind of behind the scenes of what things are like for you guys. All they want to know is, you know, hey, I want to be able to buy this bottle and enjoy it. And that's it. But there's a lot more that goes into it way before it gets to that point. And, um, you know, there's other major brands like you guys are starting out. There's major brands like um, High West or Smoke Wagon or uh, Rima, some of these other companies that all source their whiskey as well. It's not like that's an unusual thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 
And like you guys said, it does offer you more opportunity to pick and choose exactly what you want and not have to wait around hoping something turns out just right. I think that that's a good example because if you look at somebody like High West, so High West started out 100% sourcing. Um, they found great success with it, uh, award-winning brand. And over time, they are able to take some of that money, invest in a distillery, and they started distilling their own product. But like, like every other brand, that's a minimum of two, at two to four years, right, before product is ready. So they continued the source while they were able to distill and start maturing their own juice. Sure. Um, and now they're starting to introduce some of their own juice, either as a part of their blends or their own single releases. So it takes time. Um, and it's very, very common in the industry. A lot of folks don't realize how common it is to actually source when you're, when you're just starting. Yeah. And it makes sense. That's a lot of equipment, a lot of stuff that you'd have to purchase to get that going. Plus all the know-how and all that. So I, yeah. it does make sense for sure. Okay. So you mentioned you have a release in New York. What states are you currently offering your products to? Sure. So we're, we're, our first release, our first location was in Tennessee. Um, so we're sold in about three quarters of the state today. Uh, we're actively working on the last quarter of the state now, uh, talking to some distributors about that, uh, which is fantastic because that will allow us to cover the whole state, which is a pretty big deal in the state of Tennessee. Um, we are sold in New York and we are sold online as well. Um, so you can go ahead and go to flightwhiskey.com, go to our store. There's a link there where you can buy our bottle and then we can ship to 43 different states. Um, so it's physical distribution, two states today. Um, there's some other states that we're talking to actively and we're talking to a national distributor as well. Uh, nice. We're just not quite in brick and mortar, you know, across the U.S. yet, but we can get to 40 plus states up online. Perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and so you talked about the three, the, the four year, which I have the five year and the six year. Um, I mean, where do you get, what would be the dream as far as where future products and the direction of the company? You know, my dream is, is a little aggressive <laughs> and then there's three of us, you know, so we, there, there has to be a compromise, right? Somewhere. So my dream ultimately is to have flight spirits offering every um spirit available on the market wow. um we have talked to we have we've had um preliminary discussions about um doing a rum cast uh whiskey release we have talked about doing a rum release uh release okay. so ultimately i think we all have this five-year goal of in, in the next five years flight wants to have their own distillery we would love to have our own distillery so people can come into our facility, see what we do, learn more about flight, and actually get to witness the whole bottling process and 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 everything just around flight whiskey itself. And you know, moving beyond five years, you know, I want us to be able to be able to have a flight uh, spirit that that ha there's a gin here, a tequila here, a rum there. So it's more of what can't we do? This is our. I mean. I'm willing to do everything. And that's that's my goal, personally. Mike, he's more of the legal guy, and he's like, okay, pump the brakes, you know, that time. I'm handling, the, you know, the finances. He's like, we're going to need $20 million in 10 years to do that. You know, these are just rough numbers. But, you know, right. now, we all have our own ideas as to where Fly Go, but I think we all agree that we want the brand to grow. Mm -hmm. um, by the end of next year, I want Fly to be available for sale in all 50 states. Um, my short-term goal for flight by the end of this year, and because this is my um, my responsibility, growing the brand and getting us into new markets, my, my goal is to have it available in every state on the East Coast. So all 14 states on the Eastern Seaboard plus Tennessee. So that'll bring us to 15 states by December. Sweet. And then I, I wanted to jump to all the states by the end of next year. Basically, I have to try to keep up with price is how this works. <laughs> well, you got to have that balance. I'm more <laughs> of your mindset where, okay, let's figure the plan this out, make sure everything's good, whereas Bryce, you know, it's important to just uh, 
We're setting the world on fire. Yeah. Yep. Dilly dally. Come on. You got to just take action. Yeah. Uh, so I, uh, as I'm tasting here, I enjoy adding a few, a little bit of water to try and open it up a bit. Um, usually I drink everything neat or sometimes with a little bit of water. I really don't go for ice so much, but um, I'm curious. I'm going to describe what I have gotten from it. And then I'm curious to hear your guys notes on it. Um, it comes across as more sweet and a little fruity, some oak, but not, not real heavy, more like a baked good almost. And then on the, on the palate, um, it pretty much carries over. The first thing that popped into my mind when I tried it was uh, cherry pop tart. Mm. It hit me. It's got that sweetness, it's got some fruit, um, but it does, it does have a, a decent balance to it. What are, you, what are your guys' notes on that? So mine's a little different than Price and a little different than, than Leo as well. I get a lot of the sweetness as well. I get the oakiness up front, um, get some of that peppery to it as well. Uh, but then when it hits my palate, I get a lot of maple. Mm. Um, so when I drink it, I think of the maple syrup, just that sweeter um, buttery taste to it. And it just, for me at 115, it's got a really strong nose, which is good. Not a lot of ethanol to it because of the, with the 115. And then with being a high wheat whiskey, that no, the actual tasting and the palate of it, and then being able to drink it, you get a lot of that sweetness. And to me, it, it, that's where I get that blend. It's to me, it's very well balanced. With, with me being the more of the lower proof guy, I always use ice with 1903, okay. right? <laughs> I drink a little water and I use ice. It's perfect because now we can all get the opportunity to, to dis describe exactly what it tastes like. Um, so I always use ice and I normally put an ice cube in, I pour myself a... Uh, um, maybe an ounce and I let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then that's like, that's how I enjoy my whiskey. I always let it sit for like a half a minute before I even smell it or, or taste it. Yeah. Um, I get a lot of caramel and I, I kind of feel like, you know, with a little bit of ice, you, it opens it up a lot more than just the straight, like how Mike likes it. You know, Mike will drink it right out of the bottle. Like he'll just, he won't even use a, a cup. He just, you know, <laughs> puts it to his head. <laughs> no you, right. So I use a little bit of ice and I get, and that's really, there is, there's a lot of sweetness because of the high wheat, like, like my gum, right? but it's like, it's very sweet to me. And, um, but it's balanced. It's not, it's not like a honey whiskey or, or like, uh, 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 um, I don't know, like an apple or something like that, but there's definitely a little bit of caramel in there. And, and, I, I can really taste that. And I love that taste. And that's exactly what I get out of 1903 with a little bit of ice. Yeah. I think a lot of times when you talk about a sweet bourbon or whiskey, sometimes people can equate that with a flavored whiskey and there's a huge difference. Huge difference. Right. Yep. Not adding all that sugar and flavoring to it. It's just naturally what comes out of the, the wood and all the chemistry involved there. So one more time, what, where can uh, people go to find your, your product? Sure. Um, easiest thing to do if they're outside of New York or Tennessee is uh, go online, www.flightwhiskey.com. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see a set of links, go to the store. And then once you hit the store page, it's probably the first item that's listed on there, followed by cigars and, and some swag as well. The, the great thing about our cigars. Um, that's, I was just going to go next. Good. Correct. Batch of cigars that we have available on our website, they're actually. Um, period with 1903 so the good thing about it is you you pop open one of our canisters and you 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 take a whiff of off the cigar and it smells exactly like what the bottle smells like when you when you pop the cap so right. these are available on our website also um flight cigars you can do single you can do a whole case you can buy six whatever you want but it's 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 a very good for those who like to have a, a, a cigar with a with a phenomenal glass of whiskey, this is the way to go. And Mike was kind enough when we met up that he shared not only some whiskey but also a cigar, which was quite enjoyable. It was very tasty. And uh, yeah, I'm not a huge cigar guy so far, but I did enjoy it. And yeah, it goes well, very well together. So that's flight whiskey with an E. For those of you who scotch drinkers out there, it's not 
just K Y K E Y. We are also going to do a Brooklyn um, whiskey uh, and uh, spirits event in July. I think it's July 23rd, right, Mike? Uh, yes. yes. Yep. Yep. And of course, you know, in the summer, we have lots of uh, um, events coming up. Um, the Best of Nashville again will be there this year. And, you know, you have to check our website, you know, visit our website to see, you know, all our events. The last thing for me is um, since we have seen each other last, uh, we have officially heard from the, the San Francisco World, World Spirits Competition. Uh, we've won silver medal uh, for single barrel whiskey, uh, which is the 1903 that you have there. You know, and, and for us, it's a big deal. We launched in August of last year. Um, it was awarded in March. So well under a year uh, of us being in business. And we've already won our, our first award on the product. And so not only do we feel great about it, you know, that tells me the folks that we're working with that are helping us, you know, Dwayne talked a little bit about some of the industry professionals that we, we lean on as well. Um, it's really a compliment to the entire group with as much as we try, as much as we sample, that tells me, tells us that, yeah, we're, we're doing the right thing and we're putting the company in the right direction, especially, you know, again, less than a year uh, from our first release and our first release has already won. Uh, we do, we do know that the uh, New York spirits competition is coming up <clears throat> um, later this year. I think gold uh, is awarded in November. And so um, we're, we're trying to decide right now, which release do we enter into that competition? Because, not only is 1903 great, uh, we've got some other releases that we talked about earlier, not even including some store picks that we've done that are pretty phenomenal as well. So now we have the tough job of shortlisting what do we want to submit for the New York awards. Gotcha. That's pretty impressive because when you look back at the, I can get pretty nerdy about this stuff sometimes. I've looked back at past years and the winners and different categories and that. And honestly, silver medal, that's like, on par with some Buffalo Trace or Heaven Hill products, like mm -hmm. that's actually really impressive. So yeah, kudos yeah. To so we are we are excited. There's several thousand um, organizations that submit uh, for the event, and so for us to get a silver medal, it's pretty darn amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, you guys certainly have exciting things going on now, and exciting future ahead for the company and. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. Awesome. So, Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today. And uh, hopefully people can learn more, not about, not just about this product and this brand, which is fantastic, but a little bit of understanding behind the scenes as well, because it's, like I said, it's easy to just think, okay, well, I want this bottle. Why, why do I have to order it online? That's paying the butt. Well, you know, it's not, as simple as just, oh, we want to sell it in Missouri. Let's just haul it over there and put it in the store. Yeah. So one step at a time. Being a craft distillery is not easy. Sure. At all. I understand yeah. that. Well, Tim, hopefully we can do it again. And um, I guess I have to uh, step up my, uh, my game as to where I have this conversation. Dwayne sitting at his bar at home. You've got an awesome backdrop behind you with some great whiskeys there. I am sitting in an apartment in New Jersey with a white wall behind me. So I, uh, I need to do better next time. Okay. I look forward to it. Thank you, gentlemen. And uh, we'll cool. talk soon. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to check out flightwhiskey.com where you can order a bottle of flight whiskey, check out cigars or some of their swag. And as always, you know what to do with that subscribe button. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.